setting the stage, choosing a daydream theme. You can choose to elaborate on an intriguing thought, reflection, or spontaneous daydream. Visualize an entire wall unit stocked with thousands of reels of movie plots starring you. Mentally browse until something strikes your fancy. See them as organized under certain heading. Here are some examples. Childhood scenarios. Playing at grandfather's attic. Marble playing at cousin Tony's. Chased by a robot. Lost in a friendly jungle. Passions. In exotic places, tropics, other planets with fill in the blank. Life situations. Confidently relating to a troublesome person without any anxiety. Relating to in a relaxed, giving manner. Having a good time in what would be a stressful situation. This would be a useful method for gradually reducing phobias, such as fears of flying in airplanes, walking down creaking stairs, standing in elevators and small rooms. Heroic acts, saving a friend from drowning, saving a village from a tiger, rescuing people trapped in a fire. Success at work. Winning over a difficult co-worker or employer. Prize winning, golf, cook, gardening, interior design, marathon. Negotiating an interplanetary friendship pact. Transmutations. I am a trout in a stream of water. I am a butterfly in a field of flowers. I am a mirror in a Parisian brothel. I am an eagle flying above a forest. Replays of past behaviors of recent achievements. As you can see, the possibilities are unlimited. You may wish to list these and your own theme as a pop-up in your mind for future inspiration. Having selected your subject, you may briefly browse through magazines and look at related pictures. While not essential, this will further prime your ability to visualize. Because of the fluidity of mind from one aspect of waking consciousness to another, your preparations will stimulate visual memory, enriching your daydreams. Music may also help. For some of us, any continual noise will hold us back. Others seem to thrive on the stimulation. Should you choose to play a record now or in future sessions, we suggest that you only have your volume only slightly higher than barely audible particularly if you desire a daydream with some form of tranquility. By now, you can appreciate the fact that far from being wasteful, daydreaming and being attentively aware of actions on your mental screen provide a simple means of taping your shamefully neglected creative potential. Having resolved to be strangers no longer to the inner world of your thoughts, fantasies, latent interests, inclinations, and potential which previously lay dormant or were sporadically stumbled across by chance, are now beginning to surface on an increasingly regular basis. The practical benefits of programming daydream sessions on a regular basis are considerable. This period can be used to explore the abundant varieties of qualities that set you apart from others, therefore developing a broader view on your human potential. By daydreaming, that you are skillfully doing what you find difficult in reality, perhaps confidently relating to a troublesome person or smoothly handling a demanding situation, the added self-assurance so essential to success may be available when needed. A daydream can be used to investigate and solve personal problems, including things that root back to childhood and other behavioral issues, following them through to the present. With a better understanding of why you do certain things, you can take positive actions to change. Vivid daydreaming will enable you to project lifelike visual images on your mental screen at will, a skill which is indispensable to the cultivation of a visual memory, and which will help you later in your nightly dream recall when you want to replay a recent dream mentally before recording it. Practicing holding the following images also cultivates and helps improve concentration enhances creative visualization. These gains may result in an increased ability to problem solve. With the growing awareness of the flexible nature of your thought currents, a growing skill in shaping experiences in it, you will be well prepared to practice and apply what you've learned. 
with the fluid interplay between your subconscious mind and the normal waking state of your consciousness, often symbolic in nature, these practices can continue.